Welcome to the inaugural edition of Minecraft for Teachers, where we hope to explore the world of Minecraft, get teachers comfortable with uh, living, dying in block time, and trying to figure out what this thing is that has captured the hearts and minds of kids of all ages. Uh, what we hope to do is get you looking at Minecraft, uh, definitely getting you to play with it, and um, hopefully enable you to find uh, some new common ground uh, between yourselves and your learners. The version of Minecraft that I have is plain vanilla. It is not Minecraft EDU. Uh, still working on getting my hands on that one. So for right now, um, we're going to step you through a bit by bit. Uh, before we get going, I want to give you two or three tasks, things that need to happen um, once you get into the Minecraft world. First, build yourself a house. Because when the sun goes down, the critters come out. And if you don't have a home, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up um, respawning and losing all of the things that you've accumulated to that point. Uh, and you don't want that to happen. So, much like in the real world, you're going to have to find shelter. And then you're going to have to find food. And then you're going to want to start crafting tools to make your life easier. And the more advanced your tools the easier you have it and and the more things that you can create so let's get started I'm going to create a brand new world and we're gonna call this one in the beginning and I'm gonna have you note that right here our game mode is survival mode and I like survival mode because I like to earn the things that I've created. And my boys make fun of me at home. Uh, but all of the worlds that I've played on to this point are ones that I have um, done in survival mode. I'm going to leave the world options alone for the moment. And I'm going to create my new world. Now when the world is created, uh, you will end up in a number or in one of uh, a variety of what they call biomes. And a biome is just a type of terrain. And there are birch biomes, there are plains biomes, there's desert biomes, there's a snow biome. Uh, Minecraft does a really neat job of bringing these things together. <laughs> Now this is a biome that I have never seen before. If I hit function F3, this tells me that I am in a river biome. But I have never seen uh, dirt, the color of what I'm seeing right now. This is really cool. I'm going to turn that text back off. And I'm going to see if I can find a way out of the river. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if you fall into something like a river, um, you need to swim and the way that you do that is you hit the W key and the space bar um, and that kind of keeps you afloat otherwise if you spend too much time underwater what happens you drown and I don't want that happening to you fine folks so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make my way up to the top of this and I may have to do a little bit of digging to get to that point and I can kind of reshape this earth the way that I need to in order to get around. So let's see what happens when we go up. Oh wow, some, some sort of sandstone. Now I'm a rock climber and for me this is really cool. Unfortunately it takes a while to try to cut through the sandstone if you don't have the right tools. So let's see if we can make our way around here now one thing that I am not 
seeing, which I am going to need, are trees. So once I kind of get myself up to a spot where I can look around, I'm going to place dirt in different places so I can see if I can get up to where I need to be. Now look at this. This is interesting. Now I see trees in the distance over there. I see one lone tree over there and I see a little copse of trees over here. So I am going to book it to those trees over there. Let's see. Oh, I've got some water down there. That's good to know. We'll keep an eye on that. Now here's why trees are important. Trees are one of the fundamental building blocks. Um, from trees we can get planks, from planks we can get sticks, and once we have those we can create all sorts of things. So let's take a quick look down here. Looks like there's a bit of a lake pond. You can see cactus in the distance over there. It's beautiful terrain. Unfortunately, as beautiful as it is, it's quite desolate. And that means that we're going to have a very hard time surviving here. So here's what I'm going to do. For the moment, I am just going to gather up some of this dirt, and I'm going to make myself a very primitive, just overnight safe type of hut. Not really exciting. But very necessary because as I said before when the Sun goes down the critters come out and if you don't have shelter then you're putting yourself at the risk of the elements now one thing that I like to do particularly when I'm just getting going and I don't have a, a bed or I don't have um, torches is I like to have my house set up so that it's facing um, with an opening towards the east and an opening towards the west. That way I can see when the sun comes up and I can tell when the sun is going down. Both of those are indicators to me that it's either going to be safe or not safe to be outside. All right. I'm going to get rid of that. And see, unfortunately, if I hit my inventory, um, because I'm not mining the sandstone with the right tool, I'm not able to keep it. I'm just basically destroying the um, the stone or you know the sandstone. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to start laying down some of these pieces. And I'm going to start building up walls. Boom, boom. And once I get up here, there we go. I'm going to start filling it in so that I've got a roof. So right now I've got it open on one side. And I'm going to get this going over here. Boom, boom. And I'm going to leave this one right here. Boom, boom. I'm going to take a quick run outside. And I'm going to finish off my temporary roof. Now, this isn't designed to be pretty. This is designed to be functional. Um, and so what I can do is once night comes, I can run inside. I can put up some dirt here and some dirt here to keep the critters from getting in. But I can also look outside and see whether the sun has come up yet or whether the sun has gone down. Now I don't need to worry about it being overnight yet. So what I am going to do is I'm going to run over here and I'm going to cut down some wood. I'm going to show you what we can do with it. So the first thing, well not the first thing, the first thing you're going to want to do is just build a really quick shelter so that you can duck out of the elements if you end up getting yourself in trouble because like I said earlier if you are um, killed by any of the critters then all of your gear just gets strewn all over the spot where you um, 
departed this earth and you have to start over from wherever it was that you spawned. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of taking out this tree. I'm looking to see if there are any other uh, apples or anything that I can use to survive with. Some really quick down and dirty energy. I'm also going to start clearing away some of this grass and a lot of times uh, or not a lot of times but a number of times you're going to see that the grass disappears um, and as part of that you'll get seeds. But I need some more wood. This is the part where it's not really exciting and it goes a little bit slowly. Now that's kind of true to life. Uh, you know the if you're working with very rudimentary tools the work that you do is not going to go very quickly. All right, let's get rid of this. And I am going to run over to my house here. My nice little, I don't know. We'll be nice to it. We'll call it adobe, even though it's just dirt. And inside this house, I'm going to show you one of the first things that you need to build. So if I hit the E button, I'm going to come to my crafting table. And if I take the wood and I drop the wood into the crafting table, you're going to see that over here, that those wood blocks can be turned into wood planks. And so for every block, I can get four wood planks out of that. So here's where we can do a little bit of math. If I have 10 blocks, how many planks will I get? And the math teacher says 40. Very good. All right. So once I have my planks, I can take four planks. And with that, I can make a crafting table. All right. So, in the corner here, I am going to place my crafting table. Now take a look at this. Before, I had a crafting table and it was just a 2x2 two two block. This one here is 3x3, three three, and with that, I can do a whole lot more. Take a look at this. If I take, well, let's see, I'm going to take half of my oak planks. And if I put planks on top of planks, notice that for every set of plank on top of plank, I can get four sticks. Now, sticks are important because you can make tools with these. So if I have nine planks over nine planks, for each of those sets of two, I can get four sticks. So math teacher says 36 sticks. Now what I can do is I can take those sticks and I can turn those into handles. And if I, I'm going to make two of these because I've, I'm going to need a few of these right off the bat. I'm going to make an axe. Now, as you can imagine, with an axe, I'm going to be able to do a lot more, a lot faster. So let me come over here. And I'm going to come into this. And I'm going to look for my wood. And where it was taking me quite a long time with just my hands to take down this wood, you'll see that now this wood gets cut a lot quicker so I can be faster more productive I'm using the most of my daylight and then we're gonna come over here and if I look in the distance I can see that the Sun is going down which tells me that I'm gonna to need to get under cover pretty soon but I want to have some wood before I do Now, as soon as that sun goes down, the creepy crawlies are going to come out. And when they do, I'm going to pause this recording and we'll get us going um, again on our next episode, which will say, all right, you survived your first night. Now what? So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to place a little entry in here so that nothing can get to me at the moment. Now, what do I have in my inventory? I have dirt, I have wood blocks, I have saplings, I have seeds. I can't plant the seeds because I don't have a hoe yet. I have sticks, I have planks, and I've got two axes. But unfortunately, what I don't have and I could really use is coal. All right, let me see if I can take down some of these pieces here. Get some more wood, work from the inside out. Oops. All right. 
So the sun is going down over there. You can see in the distance, way over there, that's a creeper, for those of you who haven't seen one before. Now, the thing about creepers is that when they get next to you, they explode. Now, a lot of folks are like, well, oh, that's kind of violent, but I look at it this way. A creeper is kind of like Minecraft's version of a natural disaster. It's kind of like if you were to have a tornado, So, tornado, tsunami, earthquake, something like that. There's other critters as well. Let's see if I can point one out. There's one right there. So, in addition to the creepers, we also have these things. You know, these are obviously spiders, um, but they're representative of those kinds of natural things that could be perilous to one as they're exploring a new world. Now, sadly, I'm going to have to wait until morning and hope that that apple that is bouncing the distance that came out of that tree is still there. So let's go back over here, and I'm going to show you a couple more things that we can make before we have to end. Now, remember when I was having some problems trying to get up the mountain, it was because I was dealing with sandstone? Well, if I take and make handles, and I put one, two, three, three, I'm going to do this twice because I want two, across the top. This is one of the most useful tools in Minecraft. It's your pickaxe. With this, you can actually mine a number of um, resources. And so I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly since we have some time to kill. So I'm going to hit my button number seven and you'll see that my wooden pickaxe has been selected because it was in the little seventh slot. Now, because I used a pickaxe and not my hand, I can now salvage these blocks. And notice that these blocks are now making their way into my inventory. Now this is really cool because like I said, I have not yet seen one of these biomes that had this kind of sandstone. Um, and I think this is really sharp. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to kind of try to dig my way down and see if I can get into some stone. Because once I can do that, I can make stone pickaxes and stone tools. Now, obviously, stone is stronger than wood. The problem I'm going to run into is trying to find coal. If I have coal, I can now make torches and then I can see in these areas where it's getting dark. So I'm kind of guessing my way around at the moment. And at some point I'm going to start losing track of where I'm at. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for our first episode. Uh, when we come back for our next one, we'll see how much further we get and how long it takes me to actually find coal. We will catch you next time. Thanks, gang.